go through a global engineering project structure. An engineering project is a structure supported by six segments. These segments are the stakeholders, scope of the project, knowledge base, schedule, resources, including the budget, and the most important, the team. As project managers, we have to manage all these six segments of a project. Today, I will go through several cases. I'll give brief description of each case, and I'll go over solutions that I implemented. I'll explain lessons learned from each case. Go to the first one. I, as the project manager for intellectual property transfer to Japan, covering vapor fabrication of magnetic recording heads. According to the agreement between my company and the Japanese company, four Japanese engineers came to our facility in California, stayed for a year in California to learn our vapor processes and our vapor design specifications for a particular magnetic recording head. These engineers also brought their families. So what I did was arrange company apartments close to our facilities for these four families. The Japanese company was a fierce competitor with our other customers. When they were in the vapor fab, I had to make sure that they don't encounter with, other, with our other customers. Also, only transferring a portion of my company's intellectual property to them. I had to confine these four engineers to certain sections of our factory. Identify the people that they could talk to and ask questions to make sure that they did not cross paths with our other customers. And most importantly, I have to make sure that I was not violating any part of the agreement made between my company and the Japanese company. Most importantly, I had to train all the employees in our plant as to what to do and what to say when they encounter these four Japanese engineers. I created an isolated working space with four cubicles in a conference room. I also moved my office into this isolated section. I got special telephones and internet connections for them. And their work hours were between 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday. They could not enter the plant during the swing shift and the night shifts. If they had an inquiry or a question, they had to ask me first. And then I had to connect them with the right people from my company for answers. Training all employees in my company, including our president and vice presidents, were the hardest. For Japanese engineers, we had a very organized and productive year together. My company's people were very cautious and obedient to my intellectual property protection guidelines. I took them out to long sushi lunches and town tours when we had other important customers visiting our plant. I became good friends with these Japanese engineers. They taught me one Japanese word every day. I invited them with their families to barbecues at my house. I kept in touch with them many years after we all went our own ways in our lives. Detailed preparations and training of my people for my company's intellectual property transfer to this Japanese company were the key elements for success. Even the Japanese company executives praised my project management skills to my superiors. What lessons did I learn from this project? First of all, intellectual property transfer between certain agreed upon boundaries can be very tricky between two companies. When a competitor's engineers visit your company for intellectual property transfer, the whole plan has to be ready to protect your technology. Interaction rules and guidelines have to be fully detailed and explained to everyone in your company 
and at your customer. Respect and good treatment of your competitors' engineers always pays off in the long run. Let's look uh, case. This is the case regarding a project shutdown, uh, excuse me, a division shutdown. The project manager, a communication chip design company, during dot com bust and boom periods. From 2002 to 2002, NASDAQ index lost about 80% of its value due to rapid burst in dot com bubble. Soon we got the bad news that our corporate was going to close down our division's operations. I'm in the middle of a data communication chip design project, it was US based. I had five software design engineers working on my team. Work efficiency immediately dropped. Everyone started to worry about his or her future rather than focusing on their tasks. After 10 days, a group of executives came to our facilities to finalize details of our company shutdown. They to a large conference room, explained the shutdown process. It was a phase-out process. First week, they laid off 50% of the total workforce. They gave good compensation packages. They gave me three months to complete my project with four design engineers. One of my junior design engineers was laid off. After I had a team meeting with my four engineers, we went over all the tasks. I told you can look for jobs and go to interviews during these three months, but you have to give me an honest 40 hours per week for the project. And we all agreed on that. And then I called my project's customer's project manager. I assured him that we will complete this project in three months and, and have an acceptance review meeting. It's a very close-knit team during these three months. We had lunches together daily, Monday through Friday. We had to extend the project for one more week at the end for the final acceptance review meeting. I, I met with my company's president and asked him to get an extension for a week. And he had no funds to extend my project for another week. Then I had to go to my team and we had a team meeting we all agreed to work together another week through the final acceptance meeting <clears throat> without any compensation and complete the job. Again, I called my customer's project manager and explained the situation. Working as a very close-knit team during these hard times paid off well. We completed our project in 14 weeks with flying colors. What are the lessons learned from this corporate division shutdown? Downsizing or shutting down a division of a corporation is very painful. Keeping up your project teams during difficult times is a challenge for a project manager. Most project team can overcome tough hurdles in chaotic times. Believe me, this was a chaotic time. Your customer always comes first. Whatever you promise your customers, you have to deliver. Another case. These are all.